Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today, and today we are going to be replacing the seat belt. Because as you can see, it is gone. The airbag went off in it. So, to do this, first thing we need to do is get at the screw for up here. Because there's going to be a bolt back here. So if you look right here, you need to pop this out. Now, you can usually use just a panel popping tool. For me, it's not so bad because for me, one of the hooks are actually broken already on it. Later on, I'll either order a couple of these off eBay or just order some in general. And the next thing to do is get your Torx out and take out the Torx bolt right here. After you do that and you remove that Torx bolt up here, you're going to see how this has got a lip on it. Let's see if we can give you another camera angle. You're going to separate the lip like this. Get your hands in here. Just pull back on that like that. And do the same to the other side. And we're going to have to pop this up. So this just comes out from behind the seat. And these just gets a little pried up. But basically what you're going to have to do, we're going to leave it right here for a sec, but you can either come out from around here, but we need to loosen this trim panel from right here. After we do that, we're going to come over to the front. You're going to see it comes up once again, just like this around this one. Just grab and just like that, it just pops off. This just slips out around here. This is very tight right now because my seat belt is locked solid. So, as you can see, we can see our seat belt bolt right there, or at least one of them. See the hook? All you're doing is you work it out like that. You squeeze it, and then this piece is free. So after it's free, we can get it out of here. The next thing that we need to do is unlatch this piece. After you get that piece, hold this one up, slide your seat forward, and go to the back seat again. And after we get there, take out the two Torxes right here. This will allow us to pull out this last plastic panel right here. So it's a triple square and it is a 10 millimeter. After you pulled that triple square bolt out, it's just sitting right here, the seat belt. Leave it in here for right now. Also, uh, I managed to get this all the way off now that that's loose. Next thing we're gonna do is pop this one out. And again, just pop it out like you pop the other one out. All you do is you slide your fingers around the edge, pop, slide around the edge, pop. So it's nice and just sitting right here. We can now move our way lower and you'll see that it's just sitting in. There we go, the whole thing's exposed. You can see this is right here, which we will have to take care of afterwards. This is your loop back. But first, right here, just like you took out with the one up top that was up here, we're going to remove the triple square that's down here and then the belt will be free. Then we'll loosen these two that are right here. There's one here and one on the other side, and this will allow us to loop the seat belts off. Once you loosen the seat belt, take a hook, pick it like so, and you're just going to get underneath there. You're just going to lift the safety tab, which is right here. And after you lift it, it should just come right out of the airbag. But yes, I'm going to be cost. Oh, no, there it is. Perfect. After you pop that orange tab up with the hook pick, you'll see these little black duct tabs on the side. You'll have to squeeze them with both sides, and then it'll just slip right out of the passenger side airbag. Ooh, that sounds beautiful. So, now that we know that this seat belt is done, now we'll grab our Torx, loosen, we can might even be able to just get away with loosening one side off. We'll slip it right off, and then we'll slip the new one on. I've got it. All I did is loosen one side, left one bolt out, and then down here is your last one, another triple square.
take that last triple square out and then our belt is free. But when you go to put your new seat belt on, quite easy, you're gonna see that you have three different bolts there. So, one, make sure that you feed your seat belt all the way around. And the little bolt right here is for right here. That one ties through and locks into the metal. You look here, you'll see where it's gouged in from tying into the seat belt because it ties, goes through the metal and ties into the seat buckle and then these little teeth here lock in. This one goes through the actual plastic buckle part up here and then this metal buckle gets this one right here which goes down at the bottom. When you go to put it back together, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, tighten that bottom bolt and again, just put the seat belt in just like it came out, put the put it down so the hook goes in and then tighten that screw in. Then feed it through here. At this point, I would tighten this one up. Now you can put this bracket back on. And again, for some of these like this bracket, you're not, this isn't under extreme tension. Just make sure she's nice and tight. If you really wanted to, if you're really worried about screws coming loose, Feel free to use some blue Loctite, but whatever you do, do not use red because red is pretty much you're going to be dead to try and do it. After we've tightened this and you've tightened these two bolts, now we can feed this through, this clip through, that black trim piece that's going to go up here and then we can put that off to the side. Just remember to put that black trim piece through before you bolt that bolt on, because if you don't put the black trim piece through, then you'll have to loosen it to put it through. Next thing to do is you'll move this all the way up, make sure that it gets all the way up, move this one all the way up, and then we can put that on and make sure that square right there goes into that square. After you get this put in, you should be able to squish, move this up and down, and it'll move that buckle up and down. And then from there, down there, tighten that screw up. After we get the bottom screw, so now the belt is fully in place, make sure the belt moves nice and smooth. If it doesn't, and it's binding, there's a problem. This one, as you can see, she's just going like she does. So, next thing you do is put in the one screw up here, and then if your airbag trim piece is good, you can put it up here or if you have to modify it some way to put it in, because like I said, those little forks on there tend to break really easily. If all else fails, you can always grab some from VW and stuff like that. Just make sure this is sitting like it should and you might have to squeeze it up a little bit. But yeah, that's it. And then from here, we're gonna put on this next trim piece so we can put the two screws on the bottom. When you go to put in this piece, I like to clip it in down here and then sink it in all the way around, grab it from the bottom and pull up and it'll slip in and nicely in here. Go up until you line up with those screw holes and then put those two screws in. Then we're just gonna be popping in our last trim piece. Make sure you check these grooves. Sometimes little metal clips get stuck in here and you have to take a pair of pliers to squeeze them and then pull them out and then slide them back into that long trim piece. Those clips look like this. I already pulled one out, but yeah, if they get stuck in there, that's how you get it out. Make sure that little door opens, put it around the seatbelt as it goes down, flip it up and just sink it in. And make sure that when you come down to this, remember these kind of fold in like that. They go down and then they fold in. They don't actually just like go underneath or anything. They actually slide in. When you're doing this, make sure you fold up and see those little hooks in there? Those go into those little slits. So make sure when you're sliding this in, it sinks in properly. So you'll also see there's a hole there. I'm pretty sure that goes over the seatbelt buckle screw to there. So make sure that sinks out over that and then clip it into here as you set it. And then when you're putting these in, like I said, make sure these fold in first like that and then countersink it in. Because if you countersink it in too easily, it could be a little bit more fun. And don't worry, these are pretty flexible. When you're working with this, make sure you sink it like you go like this. You sink that corner in like that, and then you push it in, and you'll see the seam meets up nice. Lift it over, make sure those hooks line up like so, and then just like that. There, that clipped in, and then take your rubber and reseat it, and that's it. Your new seatbelt's in. Do the same to the driver's side, all done. Thanks again for watching this install video on this GTI. 
if you want to see some more videos that are coming out please go ahead and check it out if you want to see how to replace the dashboard airbag and the airbag right there i've got videos for that so stay tuned